Good evening, everyone. This is Charles here with another Transformers review, and it's the uh, Titanium the Fallen character. And as you can see, this is the uh, the Fallen in his tank form, uh, based off his original uh, Dreamwave design. I'm just going to move him carefully back here a little bit. Um, yeah, I actually do have some of the comics here, the uh, Dreamwave. Number one, number three, and number four. Uh, Fallen appears in these issues, of course. Um, so there's that. Now looking back at the toy, this is how he appears in the appeared in the six-inch titanium line. Um, not much really to say except, of course, as a titanium, he's got his flaws. Most going back to the fact of how the titaniums are constructed, there's not enough friction between the uh, die cast metal parts and the plastic and rubber parts. Um, like these, for example, his cannons are rubber mostly, and uh, they don't really stick that well. Well, they, I mean, they stick, but they don't, you know. I mean, I'm just applying very little pressure here. But these are removable. I'm just going to pop them off. And give you a look at the rest of him. Um, yeah, you can tell he's kind of lopsided. This is his tank form. I really do not. I display him in his robot form. So let's go ahead and get to that. And to get to it, you want to come down here to his treads. And you have this piece here. Put this panel over here. And I'll give you this. Now, let's see if I can get it off without popping the whole panel off. But. There's a tab here, and there's a hole in the side of his leg right there. Let's see if that's on camera or not. Uh, yeah, right there by my thumb. Uh, let's see if I got something to point it out with. And I'll show it to everybody a little bit closer. Hang on a second. Uh, yes, we do. We have something to point it out with. Right here is the hole, and here's the tab. Well, it's not going to show up that well on camera. I guess right, yeah, right there, right where the pen is. Then not showing up too well, but it's right there. And there's one on the other side of here, which you just pop off. If I'm being careful with this guy, with this guy's because these two panels have a tendency to break off. Again, the titanium, titaniums were not well constructed. So you're going to flip these down with your feet. Like this. And now you have this thing. Kind of like a walking tank mode thing. And just flip it down. His feetsies here, because he has feetsies, and you know, have this kind of monstrosity. So then you rotate this around, like that, coming back here, split his arms. Take them out like this. Come up here to where the top of this this is. This is his head. Flip that up. Turn it around. Rotate his arms down. Turn them sideways so you have his fist hole looking out at you. Come here to this back panel right here. Flip it up. Close it in like that, and you have the Transformers, the Fallen, in his robot form. You can zoom in here a little bit on his face, ugly as hell as it is. 
Oh, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. But yeah, definitely a lot more yellow on this mold. Mode. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Pretty much he's, he looks kind of like a knight, uh, kind of a, a knightish thing. He definitely has kind of the, uh, kind of the Prime-esque head. And mouth guard. But, of course, he has a lot, he's on fire! So, no wonder he's in a Michael Bay movie. And I'm just going to zoom out and attach his hand weapons here. Which are these two things. And they attach... Right here. He's got, let's see, yeah, right there. He has little plugs. These things. Plug them in. Yeah, I think he can also wield them in his hands. And you can have this kind of thing going on. You can have, you know, one like this. And one like this. Doesn't really make any difference. I mean, he's still kind of... He's still kind of crappy. Um, however, like all titaniums, he does come with a stand. Which is right here. A fallen. With his own little flaming head. So he feels special. And I'm just going to put that right here. And then... Put him on it. So, yeah. Transformers Titanium the Fallen. I guess a nice attempt. Um, it does have the problems with the panels flying off of it. Uh, legs are die cast. His upper body is die cast here, of course. Uh, gun arms die cast. Yeah. That's him. See you guys at the next review.